I wasn't sure if the bouquet was going to go first or if they're going to go first. Now, first of all, we're silent again, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to break the ice because you guys have been a great crowd so far. You've been enthused in the sense that when people come in, you're already showing your feeling, your expressions, your affection towards them. Towards them. But I never, you know, we do things traditional in some ways, but we don't always do that. And one of the things I never do is ask, is anybody here against this wedding? I always say, is anybody for this wedding? <laughs> oh, now that you're going to get married, why don't you get a little bit closer? <laughs> and everybody else can be seated. And when... <laughs> I always like to give them a second for themselves here. You know, planning of a wedding comes about, obviously, you think of the day you're going to have it, the time you're going to have it, great holiday weekend, the date's not always going to be the Friday after Thanksgiving, we've got to remember that. <laughs> but it's great to, to continue the holidays, but it's also great to be here to celebrate and enjoy, and that's what you're all about, and you've been a great crowd, and I can tell when you came in, when you were here, and then afterwards when we had the reception. But... You have the place, you have the wedding in a place like this, which is perfect for a wedding. You pick particular music, which certainly enlightens the crowd, and it sounded great as you came in. And you did a great job without even rehearsing. <laughs> <laughs> and then the day is beautiful, the time is beautiful, but you as people are all here as part of this. My job here is to turn and to come forward, and I was told to be fairly brief. <laughs> so I won't get overtime, but we'll be, we'll be legal. <laughs> now, just follow the instructions that I have, but in order to get married in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, you have to come before someone that can marry them, but you also have to do a few things. You have to say a few words, and you have to do a few deeds, and then after all that, you have accomplished everything, and then I can pronounce you before everyone here. Now, the first thing you did in a written way you signed a piece of paper in which caused you to get a license. And that in a written form was how you said, I do, by signing that paper. And you provided me with this license, and as a result, you've accomplished the first part. Second, I'm going to have you say things, the verbal part, or the oral part, is to say things to me that you wish to be here, and you're here of your free will. And I'll ask you those questions. And all you have to do is say, yes, I do, or Andrew, I didn't be wonderful. And that would give the invitation. But then also, most importantly, I think, vows are what it's all about. We're here to hear. And that's a commitment to each other. And I'll hear those words, and you can repeat after me. And I'll put those into the best words I can, but in the same respect, what you're feeling, what you're thinking, is as important as what I say. But we'll do that. And, um, and then we'll bind this marriage with rings, mm -hmm. and we'll do that in a physical sense, and those are the deeds you have to do. So, without a rehearsal, and with everybody in support, and with everybody coming in and looking great, we'll continue, and then we're off to the reception, and at that point you'll be married. So, congratulations. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to ask you, if you're in the presence of all your family and friends, if you're here to declare your commitment, and do you choose Caitlin as the one whom you wish to spend your life? Do you give yourself to her and accept the gift of self which she gives to you? And do you pledge to endure all the difficulties which life may offer, even look forward to sharing the joys to be experienced together? I do. Caitlin, are you here in the presence of all your family and friends? And do you make the same commitment and choose Ben as the one whom you wish to spend your life? Do you give yourself to him? Accept the gift of self which he gives to you, and do you pledge to endure all the difficulties which life may offer, and you look forward to sharing the joys to be experienced together. Now with that, as I mentioned, I'd like to say words, and what's going on in your mind, and what's going on in expressions and feelings, this is important what I'm going to say, but we'll put these into words, into your commitment to each other. And we'll be fair, Caitlin, I'll have you begin, looking right at Ben, repeating after me if you would. I take you, Ben, I take you to, be my husband, to be my husband, loving you now, loving you now. And, in and in the future. I will love you, will love you. When, we're when we're together, when we're apart, when, we're apart. when life is peaceful, when, life is peaceful. When, we're 
When it's in disorder. When I'm proud of you. When I'm angry with you. In times of leisure. In times of work. I will honor your goals and dreams. And I'll help you to fulfill them. I take you. I take you, Kayla. To be my wife. To be my wife. Loving you now. Loving you now. And in the future. And in the future. I will love you. I will love you. When we are together. When we are, when we are together. And when we are apart. And when we are apart. When life is peaceful. When life is peaceful. When it's in disorder. When it's in disorder. When I'm proud of you. When I'm proud of you. When I'm angry with you. When I'm angry with you. In times of leisure. In times of leisure. In times of work. In times of work. I will honor your goals and dreams. I will honor your goals and dreams. And I will help you to fulfill them. And I will help you to fulfill them. Now, we did everything in the oral sense now to bind this marriage in a physical sense with rings. <coughs> oh, you got it in your pocket. That's perfect. <laughs> Look at this. We have so many little ring bearers around here. I thought it was perfect. <laughs> we could use them. This is perfect. Take one, if you would, and if you turn, it be your left hand. And if you would... Your left hand. <laughs> and I'll get out of the way. And if you would say these words... Finding this marriage in the physical sense. Okay, take this ring. As a sign of my everlasting love. Of my everlasting love. Now the same on the left. If you would say these words. Caitlin, take this ring. Caitlin, take this ring. As a sign. As a sign. Of my everlasting love. Of my everlasting love. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you can shake hands now and you'll kiss <laughs> that you have and that's what makes it for you. Everybody's here to enjoy, to celebrate, but mostly support. I'm here to say these words and to hear the words that you said. And as a result of the words that you said, the governor of this commonwealth now gives me permission to say to you, you are now husband and wife. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.